boys and girls. Good morning. Mr. Samosa over here. Another day in the garden. Beautiful day as a matter of fact. Today we have another awesome lesson planned. And this is one of my favorites because this is kind of like the foundation for all of gardening. And it's the five needs of a plant. You all know what it is. We've been going over it for a long time. Today we're gonna go over it and I'm actually gonna show you what it means in the garden, what the actions are. Hope you guys are having an awesome time. Hope you guys are enjoying your time at home. And I hope you guys enjoy this awesome lesson. Adios. Hey boys and girls, how are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are having an awesome time. Today we're gonna go ahead and talk about the five needs of a plant. And all you guys know this because we've been talking about it for a year at least. And it has to do with our awesome song. Remember that awesome needs of a plant song? All right. So if you ever need, need to know what the needs of the plant are and you're kind of thinking about what they need, just always start off like this. Need one, water. Need two, soil. Need three, space. Need four, light. Need five, air. And those are the needs of the plant. The first one we're gonna start off with today is water. What does that mean? Hey, boys and girls. Now, we are gonna give our plants a nice drink. And here's how we do it. We always water from the bottom, boys and girls. We make sure that, our, that the plant has just enough drink. We don't, we do not want to drown our plants. All we want to do is give them a nice little drink of water. Just a nice little drink of water. And we always like to water from the bottom. And the reason that we like to water from the bottom, boys and girls, is because we want to make sure that the roots are getting the drink. We always want to make sure that we are giving our roots a drink because if we water if we water the leaves on the top what's going to happen is that the roots are not going to get enough drink and if the leaves are too wet what can actually begin to happen is that the act the leaves could actually begin to get a little bit moldy and that's what we do not want so that's why mr samosa always likes to say let's water from the bottom when we can there's sometimes where we can't. Like if we have a big water hose and we're trying to water like a really big area, then it's gonna be a little bit more trickier, right? For us to water from the bottom because we have this big old water hose and it's shooting out this water at fast, fast rate. But we wanna try our best, okay boys and girls? So don't forget that when we water, we try our best to water from the bottom. There's no need to water from the top like that. No, 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 come down real low real low see guys real low and just try to make sure that everything gets a nice drink like that hey boys and girls so that's watering as you guys know it's very important it's one of the things that we have to do all the time you just can't do it once and then say okay i gave them water we're all done you always got to make sure that they get a nice drink or like i like to say a nice drink. So after our plants get a nice drink, we gotta move to number two, soil. And what does that mean? Remember, we spent a lot of time taking care of the soil. We had to mix it all up with compost, mix, 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 scoop, 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 to make sure that we had a really nice, rich, blended mixture. Remember those little small yellow balls that we found in the dirt? Those nutrients? Those are all helping the plants grow. So right now, I'm gonna show you a little bit about soil. Thank you guys. Ah, boys and girls. The richest, richest soil. There is no growing without soil. It's not just dirt. See, dirt is different. Dirt doesn't have anything inside that's living. It's just plain old dead dirt. Soil? has all kinds of nutrients, fungus, and different kinds of bugs and stuff living inside that are all gonna help our plants grow. They're all beneficial. Now, if we look closely and we scoop up this beautiful soil, 
you see how rich and black it is. And that's that beautiful color that we want to see. That's showing us that there's life inside and we mix it all up and we get our plants ready for growing. If we look very closely, we can see those little yellow balls right there. That's the nutrient that's gonna help our plants grow. And if you look closely at this, we can see that the soil has many different pieces. Look, little sticks and twigs, little pieces of brown organic matter. It's awesome. That's gonna help our plants grow so awesomely. So great. Doesn't it feel beautiful and awesome just to be outside, be able to stretch your arms and have all of this space? Oh, isn't it so uncomfortable sometimes when you're all crammed up inside and you don't have enough space? It's exactly how our plants are. They need space to grow, space to spread their roots down into the ground and drink that water and absorb those nutrients. They need space to spread their stems and spread their leaves and soak up that beautiful sunlight. Space, so important. I'll show you what that means right now. Now, we can see that in the garden, it's all about space. Giving the plants a perfect amount of space in between this plant right here and this plant right here giving the space from this plant right here to this spot right here. And if we look at all of these plants, look it, they're not all bunched together. They have all the space they need to grow. Look at over here, guys. Look at the garlics that we're growing right here. You guys see those four garlics? Actually, the five garlics? You see how they have that awesome space in between? The awesome space in between? That's giving their roots time to go all the way down deep. Look at our tomates, our tomatoes. We have six plants here. Look at the space in between them. One, two, they have all the space they need to grow. Space is so important. Now back to our beet bill. Mr. Samosa was thinning out some of the beets. And what the thinning out does is that it helps our plants have space. So Mr. Samosa is gonna have to come back in here and do some more thinning, maybe in a week or so. And thinning, once again, is giving our plants space so that they can have room to grow. Look at our potato plants. They're growing so well that they've actually bushed up and are creating a lot of space in between themselves. Look at all our corn. Look at the space in between the corn. So yeah, boys and girls, space is extremely important when it comes to planting in the garden. You just can't put a thousand seeds into one hole. You need to spread it out. light. Nothing more awesome than that beautiful vitamin D from the sun. You guys ever just like to go outside and just soak up the warm sun rays? Especially having to be inside for so long. Doesn't it make you feel good? Nice and warm. Kind of gives you energy too. You feel like you have an energy boost after being outside for a little bit, right? That's how our plants feel. Nothing, nothing, nothing in this world would grow if we didn't have the beautiful sun. The sun is what creates this whole wonderful world that we get to live in. It gives us the plants. Through photosynthesis, the plants create food, and then in turn, they give us the food. So it's amazing, the beautiful sun. Let's go ahead and see how the uh, plants absorb. Now, here's a true story. A few months ago, we had all of these succulents right here. All of these succulents that are in these individual pots were succulents that had actually broke and were on the verge of death. Succulents love the sun. And one thing that is certain is that the sun helped these beautiful plants regenerate and have a second chance at life. Now look at closely at this, at this succulent flower right here. Do you guys see how it's opening itself up? and it's facing right towards the sunlight. That's how awesome these plants are. They actually move towards the sun to soak up the most sun rays that they can. It's absolutely amazing. The sun is one of the most amazing, amazing things on this planet. Now, before we continue, boys and girls, I have a small treat. This right here 
is our very first strawberry from the garden. I just picked it right now. Let's go ahead and give it a nice wash. We always wash our vegetables and our fruits before we eat them. And let's see how this tastes. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Absolutely delicious from the garden, boys and girls. Now, talk about air. What's air? Air is the wind that blows in between the leaves. Air is the wind that dries out some of the soil. Air is so important. The reason air is important is that if the leaves of our plants get too wet and the air doesn't come through and dry them out and blow, then they're gonna get moldy and mildewy and start to die. Another thing that could happen is the wind is so important because it blows and it helps blow the seeds and spread all the different flowers and plants to different parts of the, of the environment. So it's very, very important for the air. So thank you very much, boys and girls. Okay, my friends. Now, we just finished planting all our plants. Now we're gonna give the whole garden a nice drink and also those wonderful seeds we just planted. Now, we always say, Mr. Samosa always says, we don't want to water from the top, we water from the bottom. The only exception is if we're watering with the garden hose because it kind of makes it hard and we don't want to hurt the plants. So we're going to try to water from the top just this time with the water hose, but try to do it softly and try not to splish or splash. So we get a small water stream and we water our beautiful flowers. Make sure that it's all getting that nice, nice drink, boys and girls. Yeah. We go over here to cilantro and to our wonderful garlic. Make sure they're getting a beautiful, nice drink. Our onions over there, check out these onions. A little bit, give it a nice drink. Tomatoes, can't forget those. Our favorites. See how I'm kind of going toward the bottom of the tomato plant? We don't always have to go to the top. If you can, try to come down to the bottom. Make sure those roots are the ones getting the drink. So I'm going to the bottom. See that, guys? Right to the bottom. To the bottom, to the bottom, to the bottom. Now, potatoes and strawberries and beets. This whole beautiful section is going to get that nice drink right there, boys and girls. See that? Thank you, boys and girls. I hope you had a good time today. Stay tuned for more lessons. Awesome. Bye-bye. For a plant to stay alive. For a plant to stay alive. It needs five things I would not lie. It needs five things I would not lie. It needs water so it can grow. It needs water so it can grow. And it needs soil just like so. Need one water, need two.